Do you need to create a website which has a CMS and you don't want to write down a single line of code so you're in the right place? In this video, I'm going to show you how easily we can use Webflow to create a website with the content management system. So get sure to watch this video until the end. My name is Ki and here is Akimo. Welcome back to my channel. You might be familiar with the concept of the static and dynamic web pages. The static web pages are the one that we manually put the content inside them, including the text and images. This means if we want to change something or add a new item to our web page, we need to do it manually. So we need to change or add the image and text into our web page and then deal with the appearance and the styling of all the elements again. However, on the other hand, we have the dynamic web pages. So we don't have to do manual works when we want to add a new item or change something in our data. If you watch this video, you're going to learn how to set up your collection in a web flow, how to add some items into our collection, how to create a dynamic web page for the item detail page. And at the end, you're going to learn how to create the overview page for the items that you have in the collection. But before we go further with this process, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel right now before you forget to do so. And like this video and leave a comment from me, which is going to support me a lot. Now, without further ado, let's get started. In order to have CMS functionality inside our website using Webflow, we need to create some collections. Collections are going to be basically the database that is going to store some items based on how we define them. Okay, let's see how we can create our first collection. We need to open the CMS panel here by clicking on this database icon. Then we can click on the create new collection or on this plus database icon here to create our very first collection. Now it's time to set up our collection. Here we can set the name of the collection. We can add or remove or play around with the collection fields that we would like to have. The collection fields are the information that we need to enter in order to create one item. Here in the right side, we see also the editor preview. This means if we want to add one item to this collection, we need to enter this information. This is basically the user interface that we will see next time if we want to add one item to this collection. In addition, we can also add more custom fields into this collection by clicking here on this plus add field. Here I'm adding one new field uh, from image type and then rename it to the thumbnail. This field is going to store the thumbnail image and then I can add another image and then rename it to the main image of my post. As you can see, we have many options here. We can have a plain text, we can have a rich text, we can have image and many more options. Also here on top, we have many collection templates. We can use this template in order to speed up our process. For example, here I'm clicking on a blog post. As you can see, I will have the fields that I would need for a post. I can add more or adjust it based on my needs. Okay, now I'm done with setting up my collection. So I can finish the process by clicking on create collection here on top. I can add new item to this collection by clicking on this plus button, new blog post here in this menu. However, Webflow can generate automatically five, 10 or 20 items, which will help me to start to work on the styling of the post pages or anything related to this collection in my design file before I get into creating my content. When now we take a look back at our pages panel, you will see that we have the CMS collection pages tab and beneath that we have this blog post template, which is basically the detailed page of my blog. Okay, here we need to follow the normal process of creating our page and styling it. So let's just start by adding one hero section. I'm gonna click on the plus, then I'm gonna switch to the layout tab in order to use uh, some predefined component from the starter library of the Webflow. This will speed up our process. So I'm gonna open this library and from the hero section, I'm gonna select the hero tag and double click on it or drag and drop it into my scene. First of all, I'm gonna delete the CTA because I don't need it in this page. Then let's see how we can connect each element of this component to one of the fields of the items that we have in our collection. So for example, I would like to connect this headline in the hero section to the name text field that I have in my collection. So I'm going to select this headline, switch to the setting tab and beneath the heading type, I have this option which says get the text from a collection blog post. I'm going to check this item on and then open the drop down, which is going to let me select the field that I want to connect to my headline. 
in this case it's going to be the name and when I'm selecting the name immediately you will see that the text inside the headline is going to change because it's basically retrieving this information from our collection I'm gonna do the same thing for the next element inside the hero section which is going to be the paragraph so I'm selecting the paragraph coming to the setting panel and here I'm going to check and get the text from blog post and then select the field that I want to connect to this one which is going to be the post summary I can do the same thing for the image as well so let's select our image go to the setting panel and check on this item and here in this drop down menu I'm going to select the main image so we can go further and add more items and using face element into this page so for example here I'm going to make one section and then add one container inside it and then create one rich text now I'm going to connect this rich text to the post body field of my collection I can play a little bit with the styling just add some a margin on top and down and then I'm going to add one footer to this page. So as you could see, we can kind of create the detailed page of each item of our collection very easily following the normal procedure in the web flow. The next step, I'm going to show you how we can use the collection element or HTML element in order to show some of the information of our collection or the items inside the collection outside the detailed page of that items. So first of all, I need to create a new page. Now I would like to add some HTML element, which is going to build this structure of my page so first of all I'm gonna add one section and then inside that section I'm going to add one container so now it's time to add our collection HTML item or collection list so I'm going to again go to the plus or add menu and then from the CMS tab I'm going to click or drag and drop this collection list into my page I will place this list inside the container in the next step I have to connect this collection list to one of the collection that I made in this case I have only one so so I'm going to select this list and then here from the setting panel, I'm going to set the source of this list to blog post. I have some setting here that I can play around in order to create the design that I would like to have for this list. For example, I can choose the layout to be two column, three column or more, or it can even be full screen. Here I choose three column layout. Then I can say that I would like to have pagination. So for example, here I say I would like to show 10 items in each page so in general I would have two pages now I'm gonna set the width of each layer inside the collection list wrapper to 100% in order to fit it into my container okay now it's time to work on the items of this list so we need to create or add some HTML elements inside each item so here in the navigator I'm going to select the collection item and then add one image inside it as you can see I add this element automatically to all the items inside this collection list so I'm going to set and fix the aspect ratio for this image and then set the width of it on 100% to fill whole container there I'm gonna select the image and go to the setting panel and then connect this image to the thumbnail image of my post so as you can see now our image is connected to the images that we have in each item in our collection so we are retrieving the information from our collection already now I'm going to select the collection item again and add a headline to it I'm going to set this headline on h3 and then again go to setting panel and then this time connect this headline to the name of the post now in order to have more control on this items the image and the headline I'm going to create one div inside the collection item and then add image and headline into it I'm going to set its height to 300 pixel uh, which will organize all the cards next to each other now I would like to create the link from this items or each of this item to the detail page of the post I'm going to select the div block again and right click on it and then convert it to the link block already from the appearance you can see now we convert all element or this item to the link however I would like to have different styling for my headline so I'm going to select the div and then go to the style panel and play around with the styling of the text a little bit to have something more proper then while the div block is selected I'm going to the setting panel here under the link setting section I'm going to switch the link type to the page and then open the drop down menu next to the page and then select the current blog post here this means each of these items are going to be linked to its own detailed page that was it we are done with our process our CMS is ready, our overview page is ready, and we have our detailed page.
Thanks for watching this video. That was everything I wanted to share with you. You saw how easily we can use the CMS feature inside the Webflow in order to create more dynamic web pages uh, without having to do any coding. And at the end, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And don't forget to share your opinion, doubt, and your question in the comment section. Let's learn together and see you in the next video. Bye.